Hi, this is Bob Wetterman. This is part five of a six-part series on BGA Rework, a primer. In this session, we'll be discussing the cleaning underneath and in and around the area of a reworked BGA. So, in our previous sessions, we talked about the removal of a device, how to properly dress the location of a removed BGA, the placement of a ball grid array, and the reflow process. So in this session, we'll be talking about cleaning. So the objective of a cleaning process is we want to remove the soils or the contaminants or potential contaminants that will impact the product reliability of a PCB based on its end use environment and or provide a surface for which we can later provide a subsequent coating, usually an underfill or conformal coating too. So with cleaning, there are some challenges that are somewhat unique to ball grid arrays, and that is we need to get underneath the device. So many times what happens is the soil, or in this case, the flux contaminants, basically make a dam in and around or between the balls of the ball grid array. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we have, in our cleaning process, enough mechanical energy to break this dam. Typically, that is done either with a mechanical force, such as a brush, or a high-pressure cleaning source, such as a closed-loop cleaning system, or a high-pressure uh, airline-driven cleaning source. And then secondly, we need to make sure that our cleaning agent is able to break those soils down and attach themselves to the cleaning agent and get carried away. So again, we have to break the dam, then we have to make sure that the cleaning agent can break those soils down and carry them away. So again, there are a couple of methods we can use here from a practical basis for cleaning underneath a ball grid array. The most common for onesie, twosie type of rework is an isopropyl alcohol or your cleaning agent that you've specified and a brush and making sure that the board is tilted and away from you and then the soils are cleaned after they're rinsed and broken away from underneath the BGA. The other way we can do that is through a high pressure cleaning system and in this case we see in front of us a closed loop cleaner. We can do this for boards that are that have been reworked. We just have to make sure that the components are all um, rated to be uh, submersed. Otherwise, we either have to take them off or we have to come up with a different cleaning process. So in this closed loop cleaning system, we can either have aqueous based uh, washing systems that are uh, good for water soluble fluxes or we can have saponifiers or other cleaning agents in the closed loop cleaning system for the small lot sizes and uh, those would provide the, uh, the, the chemistry required to not only break those soils down but again to carry them away. So those are the two cleaning methods and again once we're done cleaning we're going to have to talk about how we inspect the BGA which will be the next session. We'll see you then.